Swanapol. For those of you who haven't seen one of my videos before, I make videos about my long distance relationship, I make videos about faith, and I also do some singing videos and like random things in between. <laughs> This video is one that I'm really excited about. I put a poll on my Instagram asking you guys what video I should post. If you want to vote on the next poll, go follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description. And I asked you guys to choose from about four different video options. And this one got the most votes by far. And it was how to know if he's the one. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while because when I was single and I would ask someone, how do you know he's the one? How did you know your husband was the one? People would always say to me, oh, when you know, you know. And I was like, what do you mean when you know, you know? Like, how do you just know? Do I know? Maybe I do know. Maybe I don't know. And I would just confuse myself so much. But now that I'm recently engaged, I do understand what they mean about when you know, you know. But I don't want to just tell people, oh, when you know, you know, because that just seems very vague to me. So I sat down and I made a list of seven ways that I knew that Josh was the one and that he was going to be my husband. Also, at the end of this video, there will be a little um, message from Josh that I'll read out loud, which is his perspective on how he knew that I was the one. So that will be coming at the end and I haven't read it yet, so I'm really excited to see what he said. The first way that I knew Josh was the one was because before I met him, I got out of a really bad breakup and I had decided that I was just gonna focus on myself and I just wanted to be happy. So I was just doing things that made me happy, spending time with my friends, just like really living my best life and I felt really fulfilled. I was getting closer to God and I just felt very fulfilled and the happiest I had been in a long, long time. And so when I met Josh, it wasn't like I was depending on him for my happiness or I was like depending on him to fulfill me. So that's the first way that I knew Josh was the one because I was ready to be in a relationship with him. And also he was ready to be in a relationship with me. The second way that I knew that Josh was the one was because talking to him was exactly how I pictured talking to my future husband would be. Um, like as a girl in particular, you kind of think about it, you're like, I wonder what it will be like spending quality time with my future husband. I wonder what it will be like talking to him and you know, all those things. And by my first conversation with Josh, it was only over text, I knew he was the one. Because the way we spoke, our dynamic, the enthusiasm, jumping off of each other, our same level of energy, it was exactly how I had pictured in my mind it would be talking to my future husband. And I was like, whoa, like this is freaky. Is this guy even real? Like we just had so much in common and the conversation flowed so well and it was exactly how I had pictured it in my head. Now, emphasis on the fact that the conversation was how I pictured it in my head. How his personality was, was how I pictured it in my head. Not the other things, not the fact that he lived in Canada. <laughs> I did not picture that in my head. Um, his appearance, I had not pictured in my head. Um, but all of those things that I hadn't pictured in my head were pleasant surprises and have been amazing, like cherries on top, <laughs> to this relationship. And then this third one is the biggest way that I knew Josh was the one and it's something that I think about almost daily. So before Josh um, bought his ticket to come and visit me in New Zealand, for those of you who don't know, we met online. And so Josh came and visited me three months after we met online. And Josh was praying to God about whether he should buy an airplane ticket to come and see me because he was at a point in his life very similar to me where we didn't want to mess around, we didn't just want to date, we wanted to know who the one was that God had for us and pursue that person and not have any other distractions. So one night before Josh was going to buy the ticket, he was praying about it and really seeking God on it and he asked God the randomest question. He said, Lord, if she is the one, let me ask her to pick a number and let her pick the number 42. And if she's not the one, let me ask her to pick a number and her pick the number four. 
and any other number, it didn't work. So he did that and he asked me out of the blue, he said, Alicia, I'm going to ask you to pick a number and I want you to really think about it. And I was like, okay, had no clue what this was about. And so I just kind of sat there for a bit and like cleared my mind and just waited to see what number popped into my head. And I was just like, 42. And he was like, no way, dude, no way. And he was freaking out. And he was like, we need to pray right now. And so we prayed and he told me what he had just prayed and that I had said 42 and it was so crazy. And we were both like, whoa, like that cannot be a coincidence. That's, that's crazy. It doesn't stop there. So he bought the ticket and then the next day, my mum came into the room and I had already told her about like the 42 thing and what had happened because I tell my mum most things. And um, mum came in and I was on video chat with Josh and he was like, hi Mrs. Swanepoel and she was like, hi Joshua and he said, guess what? And she said, you're coming in 42 days. And he was like, no, probably more like 62 days. Ha <laughs> ha we all laughed. And then I was like, seriously? How many days until you're coming? And he was like, mm, let me check. We counted the days on the calendar, day for day, till when he was coming, and it was 42 days until he would be in New Zealand. Just let that sink in for a moment. God gave Josh the number 42, completely random number. God gave me the number 42, completely random number, to both of us. Then, it turns out, he chose that number because that was the specific flight that Josh had to take for that specific day to be in New Zealand. Just so crazy. And I just seriously recommend that you seek God on your relationship and whether you guys should be together or not because he will blow your mind. Like, if God wants you to be together, he will make it clear. And it helps so much because now that we're engaged, like sometimes things can be difficult, you know, like arranging, like he's moving over here soon. So we're planning all these things and like planning our wedding and things can be stressful. But having that promise to hold on to that God is on our side and that God is going to help us, it makes all the difference in the world. And that's the biggest way that I know that Josh is the one. The fourth way that I knew that Josh was the one was because for a long time when I prayed about my future husband I would pray like oh god I pray that he has this I pray that he does this I pray this 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 and then after I had the bad ending in my last relationship I realized that all I wanted in a relationship was peace I just wanted peace peace that I was in the right relationship just peace and when I met Josh it was the first boy I ever met where I just had the peace that surpasses all understanding and yeah you know when you have those moments where you just like realize like oh my gosh I can't believe like what's happened that's how I feel right now I just cannot believe that I'm at this point that I'm engaged to this amazing guy that God has been so faithful he's been on my side he's been on Josh's side this whole time like through all the ups and downs he led us together and in the most amazing way <laughs> the fifth way that I knew Josh was the one was because he helps me to grow in myself like, since day one if I complain and I'm like <laughs> that's probably that's probably it <laughs> since day one if I've had like a day where I feel ugly or something Josh doesn't just encourage me and tell me like no you're beautiful and stuff like that Josh will tell me like come on like go to the gym and he'll encourage me to actually make a change and better myself as a person and I absolutely love that and in my faith, like if I tell him like, oh, I'm feeling distant from God, he won't just be like, oh, like, why do you feel distant from God and then dwell on it with me? He'll, he will, he will sometimes ask those questions, but most of the time he'll just say to me, all right, well, let's read the Bible right now. Or instead of saying that, he'll just start reading it. He'll be like, all right, Matthew 3 verse 4, <laughs> and then he'll just start reading it. And 
it's just exactly what I need in a person, someone who actively through their actions, not just words, encourages me and helps me to be the better version of myself. The sixth thing is also huge. As Josh and I got to talking, especially in the early days, we realized that every belief of ours matches up. Um, not just our Christianity, but also like matters in Christianity that lots of Christians don't agree with, like our views on women speaking in church, our views on alcohol, our views on tattoos, our views on so many different things. They just all matched up. We both drawn the same conclusions. We were both on the same team since day one and both just heading in the same direction in our faith. We were equally passionate about God. I mean, we are still equally passionate about God and constantly seeking to learn more and grow more just on that same energy level, same belief level, equally yoked. And then the seventh and final way that I knew that Josh was the one was sacrifice. True love is sacrificial. Before we were even in a relationship, Josh was sacrificing hours of his day to talk to me. He still does, even when he's at work. <laughs> He'll call me um, as much as he can and talk to me. He sacrificed a lot of money to come and visit me before we were even in a relationship. He sacrifices his sleep a lot of the time because of the time differences, so he'll stay up quite late to be able to talk to me. He sacrifices so much for me. He's even moving across the world to New Zealand to be with me. And it's just that sacrificial love that is so hard to find. And if you can find someone that sacrifices things for you, money, time, sleep, whatever, they sacrifice it for you, oh, do not let that person go. Someone who puts you first and truly loves you like that, it is so, so special and do not take it for granted because it's a big thing. So the lighting and the camera setup probably looks a little bit different right now because my camera died. But I have here a message from Josh that is it from his perspective of how he knew that I was the one. I knew there was something special about Alicia before I bought the plane ticket. I just prayed and asked God for a sign. He answered my prayers and gave me the sign I asked for and I booked my ticket later that day. The special thing about Alicia is her relationship and connection with God. That was what I was looking for in a future wife. If you guys want to DM me any questions or just get to know me, then just DM me on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you. If you've seen my video of when Josh was here and we did like the video Canadian versus New Zealand slang, uh, I did a very similar video to that when I was in Canada, just really like funny and like little phone clips. The whole time I, while I was in Canada, I'd noticed like weird things that they do there or stuff like that. And um, I would just do like, when you're in Canada, you know you're in Canada, when? So the you know you're in Canada, when video will be the next one that's uploaded. And so I look forward to that. That's a, um, that's a pretty funny video. And yeah, if you haven't seen the Canada versus New Zealand one, then that's probably a good time to go watch that. But yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day and I love you. Bye.